What's going on guys, Asian DVD here, and today I got a little bit of a different video for you guys. It's kind of about a, a browser that I recently discovered and it's called Torch. And you guys may know of it, you guys may not. And as you can see, this browser, Torch and Google Chrome, they look very much alike. And um, I'm going to be talking about why I switched from Google Chrome, which I thought was like one of the best browsers around to Torch. Well, I haven't completely made the switch, but uh, I'm using this a little bit more than Chrome right now. And I'm going to show you guys around this new browser because it's not really popular, but some of you guys may have heard of it. And yeah, whatever. Let's just dive right into it. Anyway, guys. So both these browsers, right? They're um, both based on the open source project called Chromium. Um, I'll just let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Chromium. Um, so yeah, this is like an open source browser project type thingy. See, so Google Chrome is based on this code from the Chromium, and as you can see, that's the Chromium logo, and this is the Google Chrome logo. So you guys can see they're pretty identical except for the color scheme, but um, yeah. So. Um, you guys can just go to this website, chromium.org, and I'll put in the, link, the link in the description so you guys can look at it. But um, yeah, that's where Google, Google Chrome draws most of its code from, so it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And um, all right, guys, now just dive into the main topic of this video, which is Chromium. All right? Yeah, okay, this is Chromium. All right, because they look so much alike, I can't tell the difference except for this little thing right here. And I'll get into all these details into in a little bit. So now, as you guys can see, they're exactly well. They're very similar because they have the pretty much the same source code. Um, so yeah, that's why they have um, pretty fast load up times. In fact, let me just close this right here, and um, so you guys can actually see for yourselves. Let's see if I open it. Time. All right. So that was Chromium, and that Chromium Torch. Oh my God, I was getting confused. And um, this is Google Chrome. So you can see they're pretty fast. And I, I'm signed to my um, account, Google account. So yeah, I'm both of them. So pretty fast load up times. And let's get into the differences right now. So with Google Chrome, um, I'm pretty sure Google uses its own custom build of um, Adobe Flash Player. Well, um, this, I don't, well, I don't think Torch natively supports. Well, actually, I think it does. But it's a custom extension or something. But I know Google uses its own custom Flash Player, but this I think uses Adobe's actual Flash Player. So different builds of Flash Player, I guess. And now let me just get into the features that make uh, not Chrome Torch a little bit better than Chrome. So first of all, this share feature. So you can pretty much just share any page with a click of button. So you can share to Facebook and Twitter. And just one click of button. So I can just share on Facebook and Twitter. And I can also invite friends to use some torch or not. But this is really cool. So you can share any page to Facebook and Twitter, which is a really handy feature, which I don't think Google Chrome does right out of the box. You have to add extensions to it and whatnot, which is just a little bit more of a hassle. Not really a hassle, but you know, you have to find the right extensions or whatnot. Whatever. And you also can download media on the page. So if there's any media on the page, so let's just say I go to find a video on like let's just type uh, I don't know, Chrome, I guess. Right, and we go to say YouTube, and um, maybe I have to click on a video. Go home. See if it makes it play. Well, this media button should highlight right now, and should say media available to download. A little bit. Uh, it's kind of acting up right now. Uh and they're up for this try again. Alright. That's kind of weird because that usually never happens. Actually, you know what? I'll go to one of my videos. So I'll just go to, I don't know, go to my video manager. And this is my latest video right here. And yeah, so you can see there's a button that says download. It's now highlighted. So I can just click on it. And they'll download right there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a cool, pretty cool feature right there. I don't know why I keep saying error occurred. Let's try again. But thank goodness with the download button. <laughs> but anyway, guys. So let me just move out of there. 
and um, yeah this is another cool feature the browser has built-in torrent support so say you want to download a torrent um, you can just turn this on and it just click that and it goes to the torrent page of the browser it takes a while to load up but um, it's a pretty nice torrent interface so which I think is uh, pretty cool so you can see right here torch torrent you can add a torrent remove start pretty cool actually if you ask me see and you guys don't know what a torrent is, I'm not going to go through this entire torrent feature so I'm not. So you guys can just look that up for yourself, but uh, it's a pretty nice torrent interface, I have to say. Which is another reason why I actually like this browser, because it has a nice torrent interface, even though I don't use torrents that much. Anyway guys, so um, this um, browser Torch also can access the Chrome Web Store. And um, most of the extensions and apps work for Torch as well, because they have the same source code. But um, a couple of features, sometimes like the applications uh, features are not all completely supported. Like for example, quick note. Let's say if I go to I don't know the Verge or something. So I go to theverge.com, right? And let's see here. So as it loads, right? So um, yeah. It's actually pretty interesting stuff going on right now. And um, yeah, guys, so get to the verge. And let's see, right click, uh, see, uh, it doesn't have an option for quick note right here, but if I pull up on Chrome and I right click, I can do a new note and it pulls, pulls up on the side right here and I can just type in a note or whatever. It's a pretty cool feature. You can just push it off to the side, put it back up, which isn't really completely supported on um, Torch, but um, it's, it's fine, I guess. I don't know why I had to go to the verge, but I want to look at what's on the website, I guess. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, let's go out of there. So, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it why I prefer um, Torch over Google Chrome. And yeah, most of the apps in the Chrome store work on um, Torch. I can show you right now. A couple I'll show you Angry Birds. Tango Butch works fine. It's also, I have it on Chrome right here, Angry Birds. Most of, I thought I tried about a few apps and they worked just fine. So yeah, they're just loading up. Let's close out of it. But um, yeah. All right. So uh, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Try out Torch. It's a really good browser, pretty fast. And um, if you like Chrome, I think you'll like Torch even more. Or we're about to see. Or you might hate it. Well, I love it anyway because they have the same source code anyway. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, found it somewhat informative. I mean, I've done a great job like explaining the features and whatnot, but um, it's a pretty cool browser. Try it out for yourself and let me know what you think about it because I love it. And you have like the most visited web pages and whatnot. Thank you, search right here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I know it's something a little bit different, but um, I thought it was pretty informative. And I just want to show you guys what browser I was using just for the heck of it. So, anyway, guys, have a great day. I'm out of here. Peace.